Hi guys, welcome back to Gusto Reaction and this time of course we are always ready to give you guys hot gist, hot information and of course hot bands and hot arguments. Of course today again you're here to enjoy this one. My name remains Ibubi and of course today I have so many important things for us to talk about. I have David right here for us to talk about. I have someone that you guys should be careful and should be ready to hear about because that one is really serious. So uh, with me I have... On my right, of course, I have Midi, and on my left, I have someone new, someone, not new, but someone you haven't seen in a while. Yes, I have Paul on my left. Yes, Paul, we have fun now. Bro, I'm chill, man. I feel good. So good to be back. Until we see you. So good to be back. I'm glad you're Now why I talk with you? Midi, how far? We saw you last time. How did you enjoy it? I will fish it with my regrets. I see you, John. Guys, this is serious i have something very serious for us to talk about and um i'll start with the big the big bed yeah i'm going to start with whiskey and of course our racing farmer our you understand our latest farmer in town <laughs> that you bought me careful but i'll carry me i'm not okay not that one is kind of <laughs> yes that whiskey and shiny puppy so the, 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 the stress question is before I ask you guys, you guys know how the whole situation has been. Charlie Poppy is using all the tractor, all the plow, everything to make sure that those crops are cultivating high level, you know, product. As usual, we know that these things happen because, I mean, before you, you farm a song to that level, it means that song is either <clears throat> or cannot talk. <laughs> cannot talk in the past about. So guys, and we saw that Whiskey, of course, posted this song or the story even when i had to use caption from the song to for his for his, for his pictures do you think whiskey is so much interested in this song or is just is just one of those crews for whiskey for you well i mean honestly uh first shout out to the to the old cut shout out to the new <laughs> cut <laughs> but the most interesting thing here is that uh Usually, when a song is released, there are different things to look out for. Uh, catchphrases, mm. um, bows, mm -hmm. um, probably how the beats are actually even transcend. Right? So there are different elements in a song that could catch anyone's attention. And I think that people who make music right now are always trying to be very intentional and looking out for these kind of things. Right? So, I mean, shout out to Shadi Poppy. Um, Ivia, I greet you. <laughs> um, so for me, I one of the things that whiskey jumping on this vibe is whiskey being whiskey. If you look at it, really like even when portable was trending and popping and time, whiskey's still the post of now. Definitely, I always feel like Big Wiz always like looks out for things that are popping. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, it's safe to say Big Wiz is always online. He's always active, so he knows exactly what's going on in the industry and what songs you know are catching or is catching people's attention in that you know in that regard. So. I feel like it's just a whiskey thing. And of course, the song too is a bit catchy. It's catchy. Well, I mean, well, like, it's catchy. <laughs> I mean, I I, I, I see the catchy parts. See the catchy parts. It's like, like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you don't remember anything about that song. Because I remember that one, definitely. So it gives, I mean, it comes it comes with some type of energy. And Wiz is just being Wiz and promoting a seemingly good song. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Um, I'm inclined to agree. Mm -hmm. It might like, be similarly good song part. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, I mean, it's, it's normal for whiskey to jump on something that's like trending. Um, try to sh like it does, it does, yeah. Yeah, try to show love exactly. It does it. It does it a lot. So it's it's not and just it has been trending for a while. Whether it's trending trending for spamming or it's trending for for any CFC involvement or whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's just trending and. Obviously, to get to everybody's attention, whiskey's attention, and the, the everybody's attention. So, whiskey it's, it's good for the guy. Actually, I'm happy for him. Yeah, of course, for this and, and and so many people are even try. I'm not. No one says so many. People, so people out there think that it is because whiskey posted his song, and that's why the song went to number one. Do you think that's correct? I don't think that's correct, in my opinion, because honestly, um, that song. I mean, like Midi say, I just come up with Midi say. That song was a trending song. It was trending at the time. And um, of course, whether you pour down it, 
<laughs> it falling down. It. I'm just gonna keep it like yeah, I'm not the same like that. Where the fall went down, it um, uh, that could also be a factor, but not taking away the fact that the song was a seemingly big song at the time and everybody was jumping on it. So if you also add the whiskey effect, could also still push because whiskey has a fantastic yeah, fan base. Yeah. And if whiskey posts you for your story, it's more like millions of people, yeah. you know, viewing that and people might want to be very inquisitive to go and check, okay, who's this guy? And, you know, it also exposes, you know, Charlie Poppy to his fan base that are worldwide. People support whiskey from all over the world. So it's just like, okay, maybe tens and millions of more streams for Charlie Poppy, even if they stream for like 30 seconds or one minute. Even if they don't they don't, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they don't stream, it don't count. You know, so it's still also like mm. an added advantage in that in that sense. Mm. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, um, I, I think I think I agree with him. I think I agree with him. It's not, it's not necessarily that... Um, it was whiskey. That yeah, it's not necessarily that it was whiskey. I mean, he yeah. has been doing this... Pushing yeah. weather by but yeah weather by farm <laughs> <laughs> oh you don't talk up no no nah, I mean they it's, talk up it's what we're talking about oh let me go to that last year no why not it's what we talked about the last time see I know it's by farming I know it's by farming or by carpentry or whatever <laughs> not, yeah. yeah I mean he has been pushing his music up to number two even before whiskey yeah. Yeah. was there so I think. The whiskey, the ob- whiskey thing obviously boosted it. Is it still on number one right now? I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think it can, it can last. I, th- I think, I think the whiskey thing boosted it. But like I said, the songs are not. Okay, now let me, let, 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 let me ask this question straight because we know that whiskey has posted this song, which means to a point, whiskey likes this guy or at least like like this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and recently we've seen whiskey jump on trends that whiskey would not normally jump on for example is the um the song by what's this guy um this what's this song again rexy i begin with rexy that yeah. song so that's not a, that's not a song whiskey would normally jump on yeah but at that time whiskey jumped on it do you think this time that there's a possibility that whiskey could come on this one let me ask you a minute um i i disagree that it's not a song that whiskey can jump on Whiskey mm-hmm. can jump on any song mm-hmm. depends on um i think the thing with features is it, the artist has to see the benefits that the song will give him in the long run. Absolutely. So, he misses for the benefits that it's direct his song and give him. Mm-hmm. If he sees the benefits that, shall, that his song by shall, but I, me, I don't see the benefits. <laughs> but if Whiskey sees the benefits there, he will go for it, definitely. What do you think? Man, I think I also want to jump on what Midday said, but I mean, another twist to it by just saying that at the end of the day, I think, I mean, it's, it's a huge favor for, you know, for Charlie, for Charlie yeah. because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, going off from what I said before, Whiskey has a fantastic, huge fan base, right? And um, they they both can actually bounce off, okay, whether is, is this important for us right now? If we do a feature on this song, is it going to give us more streams? Is it going to give us more fun? Because at the end of the day, features have to be intentional. You know, you need to know what you're getting out of the feature, yeah. right? So um, is it going to give us more streams? Is it going to give us... You know more f- and fan base of people coming to you know know about Shadi Poppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I'm sorry, and, and, <laughs> yes, and, yes, and, yes, and, yes, right. Mm-hmm. So, but at the end of the day, like when Midi said, uh, Midi said he does not agree. If it's it's going to benefit whiskey. Oh, but I, 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 I think I think I want to I think I want to actually go off on that because I think that Wiz is always very particular about people who are actually like thumping who are like turning mm-hmm. right and then him also see even the biggest of stars that's why i say shout out to the old cats mm-hmm. they still need so a lot of yeah. because if you check there's a lot of you know there's a lot of newbies yeah. who are actually cooking right now and doing great for themselves and then you want to actually attract every type of families to yourself so i mean it's an added advantage i think it's a 50 50 type thing hmm. I, I mean that makes me remember was this was this song sungba by uh, masha kere but I'm about to come on in. So yeah, and that time, yeah. as I can, was still just coming up. Yeah. So for for Bonaboy, it was like a it was like a for like a yeah. huge yeah you know entry for him. And, and 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 now if you if you go because these things are actually like I mean it's it's cast of stone in that in that yeah record. people are still going to go now to that record and listen to it mm-hmm. because of an Ashake that's popular right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So so now let's let now let me take this far because you said you said earlier that you don't you do you not see any benefit. From a whiskey, <laughs> from a whiskey standpoint, I don't see the benefits. You don't see a benefit yeah, from the whiskey standpoint. Why would you see? You don't see what 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 would you classify as? What would have made you see the benefits? Um, first of all, if you want to do a feature, there, like you said, um, you have to 
there's food that you have to get from it. So mm. I, I'm not seeing what whiskey is going to get from, from this, from this mm. particularly. I mean, I might be wrong, but um, in terms of fan base, in terms of numbers, in terms of, I don't know, in terms of even just like bringing himself out uh, again there, like, because it's been a while whiskey drops. Yeah, yeah, something yeah so stand, apart from even the, in terms of bringing himself out again, it just feels like, I don't know, there's too much negative buzz. There's a bit of negative well, buzz yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the on this thing right now about the, all the sun coming and all of that. So I don't know. I don't see it, but it might happen. And I mean, crazy things have happened. <laughs> how about how about that? How about that? I mean, at the end of the day, Wiz is just trying to jump into the propaganda and jump into to mix. get into something. It was me saying, uh, "Oh, you know." <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think this book. Like last last time we were talking, I, yeah. I said. This guy is trying to replicate the Naramali Naramali situation. Yeah. And it's not even got it's not even got to half of that mm-hmm. yet. Right, yeah. So it's not it's not about this is it's just about what what can whiskey gain from this mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Like we're talking about boss. That the boss that Felipe Pia has is not up to what Naramali had in that time, bro. Yeah, I did yeah. I mean I will say there was recently I saw I saw a tweet where someone was trying to compare uh, Charlie Poppy now to the Naramali of when it just came out. And in my head I'm like, bro. You deserve to be stoned or shot, shot in the head because how would you compare in a Mali who did very, very well? Mm. After I came out from 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 jail, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, you know, I just feel like it's just real like opinions. And people are different. yeah, exactly, it's just opinions actually. So you you might you might want to agree or disagree, and sometimes I like I like to like listen for everybody's opinion and and take out the best man mm. and just move because trust me, you can you, someone can just tell this thing is white and they will have <laughs> And can you know how the music yeah, industry is yeah, yeah. and the music scene is? It's crazy, man. It's crazy at the end of day one. It's what it is. Okay, so let me just ask this question straight. And this is going to this should, this should be easy for you guys. Um, I'm going to ask you to read this song, Charlie Bobby's ex convict uh, and now they skate. You love me. On a scale of one you to ten. I don't I don't listen, I don't no. listen to any of these songs. So you are rating it? <laughs> I'm working zero. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly, you've lost. You didn't hear that. I've not listened to any of these songs. Oh my goodness! I'm not. So like, you don't know, you know, you know, like, I told you, like they're just coming. They you just enter just my ear. Just a flash from the time I hear. Like, 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 exactly. Yeah. So I've lost. I never sit down and make I make I hear this song. So for what it's, it's, I actually like feel sorry for Charlie Poppy right <laughs> now. <laughs> I I really feel sorry for <laughs> Charlie Poppy. I'm so sorry yeah. that you, you you got to hear that from me, <laughs> but I just want to let you know, bro. You have a great song out there, whether me did likes it or not. Mm-hmm. Nobody gives <laughs> to rap shit. I then date. I then date. Do you do that thing, bro? I cash out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's all opinions at the end of the day. What are what are what are they doing? See the promo, what are they? Boy, it's really bro. It's a great song. It's a great song. Congratulations, Charlie Poppy. That's a great song. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. Gonna leave. Let's, let's move on to the next one because we are not, we don't have the, we don't, we don't have all the, so this is your, this is your great twist a bit. This is, we're moving on to the next person, right? And we're going to be talking about someone, he has mentioned cats. So I'm going to be talking about the old cats. Right, so and I'm going to compare old cats and quote unquote new cats, which is talking mm-hmm. about Bonaboy. So now we know recently Bonaboy has done a streak of stadiums, right? Mm-hmm. Big locations, and he's killing these shows back to back. Everywhere is filled up. Whiskey also has um, Tottenham Stadium coming up, and there are so many other e- events that Whiskey have done. Yes, of course, we know the video has done O2, all these three guys they've all done O2 at different times. Some of them having a, a more quicker so, so sold out show than the other one, but of course, these guys are the big cats. And now, recently, recently, the video has a big project that is out, and the video is going back to do at O2 Arena. Looking at his, his, his colleagues, you know, on, you know, on that on that pedestal of of, of fame, which is whiskey and but which have they left O2 for the young guys. I mean, Fireboy does O2 now. Just Arema does O2. So, how and why 
is David Wood going back to do O2? Is it because he, he is scared of not being able to sell out if he goes for a bigger show? Mm. I mean, uh, shout out to David and shout out to all the old cats and everybody who's been popping and making music. And actually taking Afrobeat to the world and exporting it. It's so big right now. What Afrobeat is doing right now is crazy. Uh, I mean, I, I, I saw a Joey Akan tweet this morning and he was trying to like mm. say a lot of things about how Afrobeat has evolved and how, you know, other guys are trying to copy what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even matching. It's not even matching. Yeah. Because, you know, if you take the sauce out of the uh, out of line, <laughs> you get me. So, but at, at the end of the day, um, these are issues that definitely will also create like conversations and you know controversies. You might have to put it that way. Uh, Wiz O2, Burner O2, David O2, a lot of other artists are doing O2 now, switching to stadiums and all that stuff. But I think one of the things that we also need to really, really look at is an artist is not supposed to leave off other people's shine or whatever it is that works for them. See. Different is we work for me. Mm-hmm. me if you know work for me, you, you understand. Doesn't take away the legendary status. Doesn't take away the OG status, mm-hmm. right? There might be a reason for them not doing stadiums right now. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget that there was a recent controversy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All these things come in. Actually, like management sitting down to yeah. say, this thing, we Let's need not- to be able to douse the situation and see how we are able to progress. If after the whole two show, I mean, Baba comes out and says he wants to do stadiums, definitely he's going to lock it in. That's the truth. But then whether or not we want... These are expectations that fans have. Uh, these yeah, days. And trust me, it's just normal to have them. But at the end of the day, is that what the artist is looking at? Is that what their management... Is that going to fit in into the scope of things that they're trying to do? Mm. We see, we just talk. <laughs> and sit down and just, and just talk. But media will understand that these things that they come in like in a rollout plan. Mm. For example, they actually have a rollout plan of what they want, what they want to achieve for the rest of the year. Yeah, the next yeah. five years. Yeah. Bro, like these, these things are just normal. But you know, my fans will also talk. So should I, should I now jump out of my own skin and go and do a studio when I know that it's not even in my roller plan? I'm looking at the situation and everything happening around him right now as a brand. He's not even checking out. Why should I go and do a studio? But I mean, yeah, I mean, the industry the industry is, 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 is very crazy. We know, how, as you're talking about artists having a roller plan, you also know that there are certain things that could happen in between that should make an artist to either adjust or change the 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 timeline that he has for whatever well, plan he has. Well in that that's that is um you know it's just like um a music business is like any other business. Mm-hmm. You have deliverables mm-hmm. for yeah. certain quarters mm-hmm. for let's say for the first quarter of twenty twenty three you have yeah. certain mm-hmm. deliverables and by the end of that quarter your team sits down Looks at the uh, looks at the entire plan. What's next to do? What has been done? What's what you are ahead of? Maybe you've you you you've gone you've done more than mm. what you should do at this point. Then you have to like revise your this thing and now that that is normal. You understand? But what we're talking about this entire Utu Arena stadium issue. That's that that that's where I'm going to. Cause in my head, yeah, I feel like. Because you mentioned the the controversy that, that came up, and I feel like that controversy might be a reason why the video has decided not to opt in for a stadium. Honestly, Mere can also honestly, that. honestly, I, I I it could be possible, but I really doubt mm, that. Yeah, yeah, I really doubt that because the let's see, which which, which controversy they never they would never seen before. <laughs> Come on, it's not so. It's only which which, which, which controversy has never seen before. See, person get better for Ram or each top person. No, but I mean. These controversies, like I said, they go they go both ways. It can it can make you at at some part, points, and it can also you know break you down. I, so I I I doubt, I doubt this up. particular controversy did much damage mm. to David O's arts or his reputation. Um, the case of the O2 Arena is as as an artist, you have to temper your expectations, and as even on your team, your team members have to know the numbers that you can pull at the time at the time. Mm. You understand? They need to know the numbers that you can pull at the time. It's been a while since they've done. They've done took months break after he lost his son. Yeah. So that that would have affected a his, couple of things, a couple his, of plans. Because yeah. it's like as an artist, you need to be constantly be on the road. You need to constantly get in touch, touch base with your fans. But he hasn't done that for a while, mm-hmm. so he, he's not. He has, he's not going to rush into anything. Mm-hmm. So he just released an album. He's trying to, mm-hmm. which is the best way he can. He's not really moving that. Fast. Being that fast, but he's doing it the best way he can. Otu Arena is still a big arena, no matter what you say. At some point, at some point, 
Utah. I mean, Utah was like <laughs> was like the big thing. So all this thing is just Twitter bans and and the likes and everybody just trying to dig in and all of that. It doesn't it doesn't really count in the grand scheme of things because as, as an artist, you look at yourself before you look at any other person. Look at what works for you before you look at any other person. Look at okay, let's say it goes to go and do the um the, the stadium, stadium. The stadium. Let's see. and there are empty seats. They are probably that, 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 that's a problem for his brand and the perceptions. Mm-hmm. So it's all about perception in this in this in, in this industry. How do people see you? You understand? If you do the auto arena and people are outside trying to get in, mm-hmm. like Ashakes, like yeah. that that Ashakes yeah, is yeah, now yeah. people were, we're trying people to, were trying to fight get, that way. People were fight, you know, yeah. That's that's the person you're like, oh man, this guy is big. This guy should do something bigger next time. And that's it. Hmm. Well, I to an extent I want to agree with what you guys are saying. But I still have I still have this this pinch of doubt about how like how he should have made this thing work. Right. Like we said, you you David was almost on break before his son thing happened. He was not was not dropping songs before his son situation happened. And so he now going on break after the son was like a stretch of, mm-hmm. of breaks. And just, you know, barely two months after he, he, he's came back there's a new controversy now for me yeah how i'm thinking this could be wrong for you guys who are the music experts yeah, yeah. this could be a, a a reason for you to actually go hard because in my opinion the video is is already bouncing back from you know the whole loss and people have not seen you for almost for over six months and i feel like if you do a bigger show if you do a bigger a bigger capacity People should be able to come out for it, and that's and that's where that's where I have the issue. So now that you have all of these things lined up, that is making people to expect your music, expect your performances, you are now going low. You are not doing a smaller speed. That's my that's that's my problem. So do you think I'm still going to ask you again this time? Do you think you should have used this the other way instead of you know having to go low and to do an ultra arena? I honestly want to think that these things, like I said, and like. Uh, media hasn't turned yet. Is see, these are just like Twitter banter and stuff. Because honestly, if I'm being real, why should I see sleepers get size? Oof. And a person with the wear, I'm gonna know that it's size. Exactly. Why I want the job past myself? Because at the end of the day, media had already said that this guy is just coming back from a lot. He took a lot of time out of the scene, and now he's building back. He has a project that he's still constantly trying to push. Whether or not we like it, these have been a debate here and there. People have talked about it. Timeless is a timeless piece. He's still trying to push it the way it is, the way he still wants to push it. Now he's saying in the grand scheme of things, na stadium I won't do, na this one I won't do, na that one I won't do. Bro has his plans. He has all these things figured out. He's saying I want to do an O2. And we are still looking at O2 as a small space. I mean, shout out to Afrobeats because we've actually changed, yeah, yeah, we've changed, changed the scope everything. of things because... Bro, I remember like even me, I'd always say, man, if I do to man, I'd oh. I would block everybody. <laughs> I would just block everybody. It's like I'm on which table go follow everybody. I'm gonna follow everybody. Just I'm gonna follow Donny Fesky or I'll follow this call, I'll follow everybody. I'm not talking to y'all again. But now, but at least look at where we are right now. Otto is like we're doing a house party. Yeah, like I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we're doing house party now. Otto is like house party and then everybody's gone in for stadiums right now. Why would they finish the day? Where would they go now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would they go mass? And what was the crazy space for us? You get me that? So, I mean, like, at the end of the day, man, just let's, yeah. let, 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 let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. He goes to do our, let him do our O2 in peace. And like, me, they said, if he's doing an O2 and people are going to go in, that's good PR for him, man. At the end of the day, and then he looks at that one and see, sees that it's a success, and he says, I want to do stadium. Bro, let him do whatever he wants to do. Let the artist be the artist. Mm. Let the management take hold of them and know exactly what is good for them. Let the See, let the fans be calm, bro. Let the fans. The fans should actually be fans. Like, yeah, they're they're fans. fans. No, they want to give us the oh, pressure. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be a pressure. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what it is, I mean, if he wants to do an O2, let the man do an O2. Let people just support him. I feel like right now, David needs all the love that he can get. Mm-hmm. Whether or not to like it, we still like, we still love you. Regardless of propaganda, whatever is out there right now. All right, guys, you guys have heard what my guys have said on this set today. And of course, you have your own opinion. So let us know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think David doing the Ultra Arena is a step down for him? Or you think... It is just part of what you should do. I mean, if you think you should have done a bigger scene, like I think, 
let us know in the comment section but before that i'm going to move on to my game and before my game i want to let you guys know that we'll be right back because we've got something interesting even after the game see you guys Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, I have my game with me, and of course, Mideo should I mean, have an idea of what this game looks like, even though it's a different game today. But Paul is probably new to the game, so I'm going to explain the game in the very quick note. So, I have with me numbers one to seven, and on these numbers, there are different alphabets. And we are going to pick a number, and they are going to tell me three things about what is in the alphabet. So, the first thing you are going to say is let's say, for example, you pick A, you are going to tell me the name of an artist that starts with A, Ashake, name of a country that starts with A whatever country comes to your mind a name of an animal that starts with a all within 30 seconds 30 seconds all within scale oh within 30 seconds is too long so 30, 30 seconds is too long yeah, seconds is fine let's do this let's do this so who's going first because you know this game i'm going to give you the opportunity to go first so pick numbers between one to seven five five hmm interested on number five you have letter f the time is rolling. Wait, Nigerian artist? Yes, Nigerian artist only. Fireboy. One. France. Two. Frog. Whoops. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, well, the bars have been raised, bro. <laughs> ah, well, I'm not this one. The bars have been raised. <laughs> Come on, when you guys didn't tell me anything like this, I feel, I feel ambushed. I feel ambushed. But anyway, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Give me your position to go first. So, they're ready. Are you ready now? Let's go. All right, pick number one, two, seven, five is gone. Number two. Number two is L. No J. One. Lutania. Lion. Okay, 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 okay. This is interesting. You want L? Very time, 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 one, Bona Boy, mm -hmm. Belarus, Butterfly. Okay, 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 this is getting good, this is getting good. <laughs> you, know, you, you know the same part is they pick the three simplest letters here. So now we are moving to the things that are interesting, the things that are more difficult. Ah, sadly, it is probably that is going to be the first to pick one of those. <laughs> so you have one is gone, five is gone, and two is gone. So what are you picking? Four. Four, number four uh, is J. J. Ah, at least we will J. Let's go. Joe Boy. One. Uh, oh, not Johannes, but three, two, two oh my God. one. <laughs> time is up. Time is up. Japan. Bro, Japan is dead. Bro, Johnny Drill is dead. Bro. I don't know if there is Jaguar, is jellyfish. Like I said, you are getting to the no, no, difficult no. part. <laughs> no worry, they're child, they're child, they're child. I believe in you, bro. I believe in you. All right, middle, are you good? Yeah. Let's go. Pick your number. What number is left? You have number three, you have number six, and you have number seven. Seven. Number seven is P. B square. Mm-hmm. Check. Check. Big. Five, four, three, two, one. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, bro. You that. And then you said black word. You said black word. And you had, and you had for wait. <laughs> <laughs> Man, where you bad like with it? What the hell is wrong with you? I don't know how many are saying this. What the hell is this called? Like, wow, man, you play fast. Who's me, bro? Get a play from. Jail. Oh, well, I'm all. Oh, feel the. Oh, there's Portugal. There's Portugal. There's Portugal. There's Portugal. There's Portugal. There's Portugal. I'm going to. I know that picking out that piece. How did I do the court? Can you go for that? Oh, my goodness. All right, so which means you're back to square. 
We won one. We still won one. Yes, no, it's all it's all one. Okay, two one. Okay, so you have a chance to you know <coughs> so make your way. Okay, for one numbers. You have six and you have three. I, I go for number three then. Number three. <laughs> the letter here is C. C. Uh. C. Oh, defending. Pink. C. The time is good. Country five. Country. I'll just do four. Country, I'll do four. Three. Four. For food, I'll do con convict. I didn't say I didn't say food. I said animals. Animal, animal or country. Cream. Animals, mm. country. Yes, oh, I thought food. I thought CK. A CK, bro. How did you miss? Like C or the C? Like you guys. CK, CK, CK. CK, yo, yo, CK. Move back, move back, move back. My guy, move back. Let me say I don't remember your name. I praise you. Yeah. Praise you. Praise you. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Hey, got you, man. I check your DM. Good. You know the two parties. The last, uh, the last alphabet I have here would have been the easiest one, the easier one for you because it has at least more, more, more options. No more options. We'll do it again. At more options. But of course, you guys, we have our winner here. We have our winner. I mean, how did you feel? How did you feel winning this time? But you lost the last time. Well, I mean, I had to come back with revenge. Oh, oh, oh. At least I know where it is now. So. Yeah, she really prepared. I'm, uh, my games are always different, so sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, that was that was a very interesting one. And now we have a new winner. Uh, just hold your win. Just hold your win. Make sure you hold your win because uh, I'm sure Paul is ready to come back for you. All right. So, guys, let's move on to the next conversation we have today. And this is, is, is a situation that I don't even know how to explain. I don't know how to start because even we, we are not, we are not, this is not, this is not our, 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 our origin. This was a borrowed cost, like, like people would say in university, a borrowed cost for, for us. And this has come out to be a serious controversy out there. This guy out there, Swahili, posted mm. claiming that Nigerians or that South Africans are not the original owner no, of our piano. He didn't say that. I don't think he said that. No, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say that, quote-unquote. But that was what, you know, the fans have taken yeah, it that's right now. So, be, yeah. so now, and, and now, that's where I want to bring this argument to you guys. I'm a piano... Nigerian or South Africa? Um, <laughs> the thing about it is, you see, that's why Afrobeat is very, very unique. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's attributed to Nigerians because we like to borrow. Well, honestly, we, mm -hmm. and, and it's because we travel a lot. Yeah, yeah, Nigerians. They're one of the most traveled people mm -hmm. around, and we like to borrow a lot from other people's mm -hmm. cultures. So, um, Afrobeat itself derived from jazz, derived from mm -hmm. you know this, derived from high life and some other genres like that. So, um, my piano is is a, is a South African genre. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look at it, mm -hmm. no matter where you, no matter how much you say uh, Nigerians have colonized it, we don't colonize anything. We just Infuse our own, but then I mean nobody. I mean, it's almost nobody <coughs> listens. Let me let, 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 just let me just say it now that mm -hmm. Nigerians don't do our piano. So what do they? Do? We don't do our piano. We so, fuse our piano into our Afro beats. Our piano is beats, bro. They just do. Bro, I've been listening to. Um, I've been. I've been listening to bro. I know they, how they, to they are adding lyrics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first five. But we have is... we have our own. Our own is fusion mm -hmm. of Afro beats into. Our piano. Our piano. Just, all we, all we just, we are, once we add log drums that's to, the, the beats. to the beats, it's done. Mm -hmm. We don't do our piano with that. But that's not it. Mm -hmm. there's, 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 there's a lot more that goes into our piano than that. But you know how Nigeria is doing? I would like to colonize every, 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 every <laughs> <point>. <laughs> so, so Paul, what do you think? Do you think this is an exclusively South African beat or it is a Nigerian beat? Or it's a Nigerian I mean, I think sure. for what I want to say, um, I, I always like to say that don't let Nigerians catch a thing. <laughs> don't let Nigerians. I mean, there is always like a very big issue with Nigerians catching a thing, and that's why Guinness Book of World Records right now they must be <laughs> premium, right? Bro, they need to put up their, their shout out to Hida Bossy yeah, for doing that, for that, you know. And right now, you see the wilder that you have caught. <laughs> And this is the same conversation yeah. with, you know, I'm a piano. I'm a piano is originally South African. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. You can't take it away from there. But Nigerians caught it. And they're eating it. 
anyhow, like it means everything. I like me, they said, just put locks to it and then it's sounding boom, boom, boom. But I want to also say this, that every time we have these conversations, it's always very, I don't know why people like to jump away from the conversation about people who already like started sampling this Ama piano sounds in Nigeria. Shout out to Nini Ola. Yeah. Nini Ola has been doing this thing, <laughs> like on a steady, yeah. you see, you see, you see, actually even, you know, made us really understand that there's a certain type of, you know, dance, yeah. there's a certain type of sound that is Ama piano before everybody started touching bass with it. It's a great sound, but let's call it speed is speed. Let's call it bucket mm. in bucket. This thing is originally South African. Nigerians caught it and now they are doing it way more than South African themselves. Oh is a piano a big thing in South Africa? Obviously it's dance. And like they said, it's almost no lyrics. It's just it's just that vibe, the whole push, the whole, you know, pop, you know, and everybody's just dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing. That's what it's supposed to be. And like Media has also said, we just infuse different elements. So we know you will see you will see soul in Ama piano these days. Somebody singing so soulfully on Ama no, piano yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we love the sound. The sound is good. It's dancing, it gives energy and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's what people are you know feeling of. But is it original South African? Yes, it is. And Nigeria's feeling of it and even making it more Nigerian South African. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's it. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's that, that that's that's one to, to listen to. But I have I have something, I have something for, I have something in my head right now. So now looking at you know how Ama piano became a big a big chill for everyone mm. now there are certain artists who started you know making this get into nigeria mm. by having maybe a form of collaboration with some of the south african guys yeah. one of the big guys we we should we should um you know give their their flowers is of course david you yeah. know was one of the pe- first set of people to mm. go there have a collaboration it's and killed it mm. right now would we say that david is the one that brought our piano to nigeria nope I would never see it. Uh, I would never see just... I would say, I would say, yeah. um, his feature with vocalistic popularized literature in, word. in Nigeria. Um, the Nini thing that Paul said, that um, I, I, I don't think Nini was doing a piano this time. She was doing house music. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. Um, house, house music is also a South African genre, which is why Nini Lala, Nini Lala is big in South Africa, yeah. <laughs> Hey, they love the new Latin mm. in South Africa. So, um, in terms of popularizing the journey in, uh, in Nigeria, Nigeria, it was obviously David Doe that's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's, um, is it the Kista remix? Yeah, yeah it was, was Kista was, yeah. was big, both in Nigeria and in South Africa. And from there, started getting you know, more common Nigerians. Yeah. We've had Nigerian and South Africa collaborations, but not on that level, no. Or, well, when, when you have, when you see Nigerians have South African collaboration now, you're just expressing that I'm a piano. That was by, beats, yeah. that by, but before, like me, we, we used to picture. A, I remember, a, I remember them chilly that that the video was. Hey, it wasn't my piano, was it? It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't from a piano, so it didn't come. Yeah, out. but I mean, since that my piano just came in, it has like I think it has elevated our sound. Hmm. Okay, it elevated our sound a bit. It has given. That energy because we infuse it now. Yeah, to, yeah, we infuse it now to everything. Yeah. Like we just put it to em. bro. It is. I mean, there's a Japan. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> what did you say? It, bro. <laughs> you see, there's a Japan. So I mean, they don't. Y'all be on up. Ah, I mean, the last time we saw it, we saw it do piano. I mean, so I like just, just like you said, like the Guinness Book of Records, the Nigerians when they catch your thing. I mean, we can, we can, we can call it. We can decide to call our own any name. Mm. But what we're talking about, I'm a piano. It is South African. And the the the, the thing that Sweeney did was when he said, "Oh, I'll be I'm a piano." Know, she's on coming, coming out. Then he put the Niger flag and <laughs> everywhere went ballistic, bro. Ah. Let's make this more interesting, yeah. So now we know our piano right now is a global chain, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, you know, around the world. People are eating our piano just the way they are eating Afrobeats, mm-hmm. right? Now, the question now is, Sweli had to come and, you know, talk about our piano as, a, as something that he wants to jump on because he thinks he was, he made it is a Nigerian, a Nigerian genre. Do you think Nigerians are the ones that has made our piano to go global or... You think our piano was already global? I just just you know had to escalate the whole situation. I I just feel like okay, Sweli is doing a song that is ama piano with a Nigerian in it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's the reason why he put the flag. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's it's not about him saying that ama piano is Nigerian. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't say that. That's why he had to come online to clarify. But then, is it 
Nigerians popularizing and making Amapiano exactly. almost like a global. So I want to, I want to tilt a little bit to the side of agreeing that um, Nigerians actually made it more popular because at the end of the day, like I said, if Nigerians catch a thing, is going to like go viral. That's the thing. So um, people started recognizing the Amapiano sound a little bit more when Nigeria started to you know infuse different things and you know, of course. Afrobeat is, is 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 crazy right now. Nigerians are literally everywhere. I mean, I saw a tweet that said, um, I think it was, I think it was, it wasn't Joey. I mean, somebody put on Twitter and said that even most of the Afrobeat guys now they live abroad, and that was the truth. So if you wanna, you wanna even get them a show in Lagos, you have to pay for your oh, ticket. Yeah. Come up from LA, you know, back to back to Lagos. So I mean, you see that we even live there now. We have taken Afrobeat literally everywhere. So it's safe to say that uh, Nigerians made it popular. In that sense, because literally everybody in Nigeria, even your big guns, are jumping and on I'm a piano sound and uh, you know, and and there is a serious eye on Nigeria's you know making music, not to take away anything from South Africa, every other you know African country who's been keeping it real and locking it in. So yeah, I think I want to agree a little bit to that. Um, for me, I may not necessarily agree mm. because I still believe you can't globalize what you don't own. Mm. You can't. Go out and tell people that you are doing a piano when you are not doing a piano. So what you are globalizing is for bits, but with a touch of my piano. Mm. But they say I'm a piano. Is there's, 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 there's a bit of my piano. At least for, at least for we are talking about I'm a piano. What I say my piano as is the African version of EDM. Mm -hmm. It is EDM basically, but mm -hmm. African. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing in Nigeria is not EDM. <laughs> but, but 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 I think I'm a little bit confused by what Mini said. Mini cannot you cannot categorically say that somebody cannot take something and then make it global. Yeah. I don't want to agree with that. Because yeah. what, I don't, what, what, I, what I meant was I, well, I, I can take your stuff and I do it way better than you. Yeah. You no, I, I think what it says, doesn't mean I own it. Nigerians, I mean, Nigerians, I mean, like, Nigerians. I on me. What I said, what I said, and I said it earlier. Nigerians have not done a piano up till now. They have not done, done a piano. piano. They have infused a piano into their sound. Yeah, they have not done a piano. piano. Okay, in this. In its this correct piano. sense, in its pure form, they have not done a piano. Okay, so why say why 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 Swelly not jumping oh, on an African sound? Swelly, 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 Swelly is not uh is not an authority on anything. You know, you can't say that. It's not you know authority on anything. Yeah. Piano. Come on, you can't say that. You can't say what's on about the piano. No, on no no he has he has a say in music because he's an artist. He's a critic. Yes, yeah. But but when he when when it, when it comes to Nigeria, is what what is told in Nigeria that you you will go with. Obviously, no, that's why you put the Nigeria flag. No, yeah. no, no. You can't say it doesn't have sense for himself. He can think for himself. The truth, the truth of the matter is, but it did it. The, the context, he obviously the context doesn't know. He, don't, he, he obviously doesn't know about the piano before he came to Africa. But he, he came said, to Africa and met. Like now, what's it? I'm very sure. I'm very sure when that song comes out, you won't you won't see pure my piano. You will see several bits mixed with my piano. That the context or the con the bone of contention here is whether it's pure my piano or not. The, the issue in now is the word. The subject matter is a piano. What did Swenny come to do, and how did he now say that he has an a piano song with Nigerian flag in it? That means there is a Nigerian authority. Who is also doing I it? I doesn't hear. So, no, no, not tiny. It's, it's it only it's not, 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 it is I'm a piano, I mean, it is Afrobeat that is carrying I'm a piano. That is my exact point. Afro Afrobeat is introducing I'm a piano to the world. So we are, yes. I'm, right now, I'm piano is not having leg of its own outside my, outside outside, outside South Africa. Obviously, because South Africans have not gotten that, uh, got that, that recognition mm. that Nigerians have. But in terms of I'm a piano in the true sense of its of the word, mm. we it has not Gone global yet? So, so I mean, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, like the same thing. Like the same thing. We almost done. Because I mean, tyro for goat and type goat for Roman. Like the same thing, right? And so we are now saying that I'm, I'm also coming from the angle that I can take what you own and make it global. Yeah. Now we're saying now that Afrobeat is carrying a my piano. You see, I'm I'm all for context and grammar. There is a my piano, which is the subject of subject of this conversation, yeah. right? So Afrobeat is carrying a my piano, right? So does it now beg the question, who now carries a piano and makes it global? Nigerians, what are we Bro, talking about? The only, the, only, the, only, the only people that can that can bring out the true piano to the world is yeah, South, South Africa. Africa. No, I, no, I put my no, matter, no, 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 no matter what, no matter what I say, the only people that can bring true piano to the world is South, South Africans. What what Nigerians can do is add the piano to the Afro beats. And Afrobeat is what is bro. So even, I want you to ask. Even that, 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 even
Even when I take a song, they said it's our piano. It's not our piano. No, no, no. <laughs> not our piano song. Can you now agree that I can take your thing and make it global? You can't because no, it's no, 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 You don't know it. No, you don't know how it's more than me. I ain't gonna tell no, it's no, I ain't gonna tell you more than me. Yeah, of course, it's now. Guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Please let us know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think you can take somebody else's craft and make it global? Or you think you can't take someone else's craft because you can't actually do it like the person and make it global? So let, let us know in the comment section. And of course, let us know if you think Nigerians are the ones that are holding um, my piano in the bomb, like in the, in, on the horn like this and taking it to the world. Let us know in the comment section. And of course, I love this one. I enjoy my guys here. Nice one, nice one, Midian. Nice one, Midian. And of course, we're going to get this comment. <laughs> we'll see how it's over. They're going to get that. <laughs> but of course, till next time, guys. Thank you for joining us. We love what you always do on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're just coming. And of course, like this post if you enjoyed this. Drop your comments. We love to see these comments. Till we see you again, this is Gusto Reaction.